Lexington, Kentucky is buzzing ahead of the Wildcats season opener against ULM. And there's a lot of excitement around this program this year, specifically for the new overhauled offense. We've been talking all preseason about new offensive coordinator Liam Cohen coming in from the Los Angeles Rams and new quarterback Will Levis, the Penn State transfer. Between these two, we're going to see quite a change when it comes to Kentucky's offense, a little bit more of a threat through the air. But don't forget, they've got a stable of very talented running backs and a very talented offensive line as well. In the Commonwealth of Kentucky, finally, Big Blue Nation gets to come back on campus to watch these Wildcats with expectations as high as ever for this year's squad. And Levis will throw, drifts back, throws to the end zone, wide open, Juan Dale Robinson. Now Robinson goes back in motion left, they give it to him on the jet sweep. Comes it up at the 30, he's across the 40, cuts right at the 50. Here comes Wallace on a delayed blitz. Man, Valentine bats it into the air, incomplete. Missouri cannot stop the clock with 88 ticks left. As Kentucky is going to move to 2-0 on the season. Kentucky blitzing off the edge. And there's a sack. J.J. Weaver coming from behind, wraps up Doty and slings him down. Two tight ends right now. One of them goes in motion left. Kentucky coming with a run blitz. They give it to Harris, and I don't think he got it. McCall got him again. Square and McCall. Kentucky with the stop and takes over. How about that defense? Let's talk about Kentucky. Look at the gauntlet they've got here coming up basically in October. You know, yeah. Florida, LSU look good today. You transpose what Kentucky is doing now into that lineup, and it looks, it looks better. Yeah. All in all, very good team, and it'll be a great challenge and really looking forward to having a great home atmosphere here this weekend. Three receivers right, one of them coming in motion left. Quick throw, far sideline, Robinson gets a great block from Slogan. He's got room. He's across the 30, coming near side, 25, breaks a tackle, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Kentucky! Here's to you, Mr. Robinson! Field. Here he comes. Jones throws into the middle. Intercepts. JJ Weaver. Go, baby. Kentucky will win it. And this place is going absolutely bonkers. <laughs> a Kentucky team off to a historically great start and an LSU team with its back against the wall. If you don't respect Kentucky, they will come in there and they will beat your you-know-what. Here comes the blitz up the middle. Keeper Levis, touchdown Kentucky as he high steps into the end zone. Untouched. Ahead of the fireworks at Kroger Field. 15, 10, 5. That's we're all talking about. Georgia, ranked number one in the AP poll, and they're taking on the Wildcats. They're 6-0 and for the second time ever and for the first time since 1950. I called him after Georgia, and he was upset. I thought we could have played better. I said, Mark, it was a rock fight. It was a rock fight. You're not going to have execution. You're trying to survive, and your kids never budged. Levis lobs it near side. Touchdown, Touchdown Kentucky. Play fake. And he's oh, it's This is going to be six points for the aforementioned Jalen Geiger. Quick fake, quick throw. At the 20, 15, 10. He'll go in and touch. 
Justin Rigg. One of the most exciting weeks in college football is finally upon us. It's rivalry week. Kentucky will take on Louisville in the Governor's Cup. The two programs will meet for the first time since 2019. Light box. Let's see if they run it. No, they're going to throw a quarterback draw. It's Levis. Got it. 25, Got it. 20, 15, 10, 5. Goes in. Touchdown. Yes. Yeah. Kentucky. Levis another quarterback draw. Five Touchdown. and it goes in. A touch. Touchdown. Kentucky. It's the daily double for Will Levis. Levis going to run. Under center. Quarterback keeper bounces off to the right and goes in again. Four of them. The Go Big Blue chant comes up. Your Kentucky player that has to sound so sweet to hear that in an opposing stadium. Bo Allen drops to a knee, and the Kentucky Wildcats have won the battle for the Governor's Cup for a third consecutive time.